hiyo mboma ni yao sasa tukawauliza mimi nikawauliza sasa tutaenda wapi usipo wakaniambia sasa wewe hata wewe tutakuwa tutalala na wewe pale hata walikuwa na mattress iko pale kwa ile kale ka gate kwa ile nyumba ya gate walikuwa na mattress wakaniambia tukiendelea wewe tutakuwa tutalala na wewe pale tuko tukiwa saba ndio ujue hii nyumba si yetu sasa tukakaa tuka, sasa tukashangaa huyo kijana akampokonya wakauomba mboe mboe yetu moja tulikuwa na umba tano kwa kawaida yenye ilikuwa nje tukaenda kuisika pale wakaambia huyo kijana akifungulia hizo mboe nyingine ndio huwa tunafungulia za saa tano Wata, watasishuti zote sikufe Nilikuwa <laughs> natutishia maisha mimi mimi naomba pia naomba salama njoo alitwistishia maisha sana. Walikuwa wakachukua hiyo kijana wakamleta hapa wakamwambia sasa wewe ukifungulia hizo umbo tutakuua na nyinyi wote tutawaua na msiana tutamwoa tumweke pale. Tutamwoa sisi WhatsApp tukiwa saba. <laughs> Tukakaa mpaka saa sita sasa tukasikia oni inapigwa nje kingora inapigwa ikalia 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 sawa watu waliposikia hiyo kingora ndio walikimbia eh, tukapata ni askari wa mheshimiwa wakaingia sasa wakatuokoa wakatuliza nini tukawaelezea tukapata hizo hizo vitu pale walikuwa wamekaweka hii kuku hao askari wakachukua <coughs> wa Kengo Konde. Kwa hivyo msukusuko wa huyu Masai sina zaidi mimi. Nataka aondoke usimuone hapa kusubua wazee wa hapa. Mimi ninaitwa Said Muhammad Yebedi. Hapa ni mzee wa kijiji wa hapa. Hapa ni kanamai. Mimi ni kanamai yote. Nyingine huko akafanya mambo yake huko lakini sio sehemu hii. Na sisi tutatoa ripoti. Lao kama atakuja tena yeye eh, basi sisi kuna hatari tutapambana kuna hatari kuna hatari wewe ni kijiji hauwezi kuharibu jina la mheshimiwa jina langu naitwa Abdul Karim Hassan mimi ni member wa Land Control Board katika Kilifi South na nina represent area hii ya, ya Kikambala na hii issue ya huyu Masai si issue alafu mimi kwangu ni hapa 30 meters away eh mimi naishi hapa 30 meters away mbona tuambia risasi zimelia risasi zimelia risasi zimelia wapi Eh hey, wao wana kijiji wote wana, wanaishi hapa. Mnatuambia mambo ya risasi, risasi. Mbona tukusikia risasi? Eh? Alafu mnakuja na media mkijibaiba, mnakaa nje ya fence. Hamwezi kumkabisha watu wa media mkaingia ndani, mkaongea na watu wale wako ndani ya nyumba. Eh? Mnakuja hapo kwa kwa nini ile kwa kwa gate mnachukua press conference dakika kumi mnaenda zenu. Eh? Wana kijiji wakija mnaenda zenu. Hatari hatari. Iki ni kijiji kiko na wenyewe. Eh usi tu impotie watu sijui kutoka wapi huko eh mtuletee hapa mnatuletea mnatuletea kivipi hii shamba historia yake tunaijua tunaijua kuanzia mwanzo na huyo masai ni atuambie nani alimuuzia hii shamba kabisa yeye hapa si kwao ni aje na nani alimuuzia hii shamba ikawa ni yake na hizo ni nile karatasi tunasikia yuko nazo za National Land Commission tunataka kujua authenticity yake authenticity yake imetoka wapi eh hey, because makaratasi zinakuwa forged hey. Hey. na hiyo kesi yake pia tunataka mheshimiwa aingilie hiyo kesi yake ya bunduki kutisha watu hapa 
Tunataka tuijue ilifika wapi. Because kama ni report sisi tulipiga report. Tunataka tujue ilifika wapi. Manake tulishtaki hiyo issue tulishtaki kijipwa police station. Tunataka OCS wakijipwa atupatie ni nile hiyo story ilienda vipi. Because the guy tunamuona kila mahali huko kabisa. Akizunguka zunguka. Na rangu naitwa Rehema. Mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Maweni hapa jirani na mama Karo ndafiki yetu sana ni jirani yetu na tumeishi naye kwa miaka misaba. hata tukiwa na shida tukiwa mtoto amefukuzwa sure huwa tunakuja kutunamkibiria anakulisa hitaji yako unamwambia anakwambia peleka mtoto shule alafu uje uchukue kile mtoto anatakiwa shuleni sisi tumekaa naye vizuri ule masai hatumujui sisi twamjua ule mama Monica ndiye alikuwa hapa na ndiye aliacha mama Karo hapa kama alikuwa hapa kitambo sisi hatujui ni aje na barua ya serikali ile alipewa wakati alinunua hii shamba aoneshe maana kila shamba inakuwa na title yao yake au ile maadikanio wanaadikania kwa hivyo sisi tumekataa the governor of Nairobi was within that premises because uh, that is her relative the relative is outside in germany so the his son was uh, denied access to the premises so that is why he was there but uh, the incidents you are talking about the shooting we are not aware of because nothing uh, there is no spent cartridge nobody is screaming to have uh, been injured and therefore without a report of any shooting incident we cannot act on that my name is tony i'm the son of caroline muelo who was in the land case of Friday. Last week I decided to go home to see if everything was fine, just to check on people and to relax a bit as I usually do on some weekends. When I arrived in Mombasa, I went to Bamburi to pick an uncle of mine. From there he drove me home, but when we got there no one opened the gates. I hooted, no one opened, so I tried opening it myself, but it was locked. So I looked over the gate and I saw people aiming weapons at me. Some were holding bows and arrows, Others were holding pangas and maces, the rungus. And they told me, go away or we'll kill you. So I dodged really quickly, went back in the car and we drove around the corner. When I got to the corner, I called my uncle, Sonko, several times, about 10 times, but he wouldn't pick because it was late at night. Then from there, since he didn't pick, I went to Kijipo police station. I made a report and I gave my statement. I even have the OB number, everything is there. From the police station, I was on my way back home just to see if things had changed but the gate was still locked, no one was there. So then, then he actually called me late, it was about 1 a.m. He called me and he asked why so many missed calls, what's wrong? So I explained everything to him, I explained how I got home, how I was chased with the weapons and how I did my report and he said, okay fine, where are you? And I said, I'm on my way back to Bamburi because that's the only place where I could go and stay, at my other uncle's place. Then, after a few minutes, he called me again and he said, let's meet at your place at home. So I turned around immediately and I went to him at my place. Him and a few guys were there, a few cars, and the guys, the Maasai's that were at the premise had run away. Yeah, that, that's what happened. They had run away and from there I went to sleep at his place because I was still not feeling safe. Immediately after he called me and told me to meet him at my place, I went and I took five minutes to get there. When I got there, there was about 10 guys and him, all unarmed. So I don't know where the stories for the guns is coming from. The Maasai's that were brought by the other party, yeah, the ones that blocked us, they were armed. They had uh, bows and arrows, they had machetes and maces, the rungus, the ones for throwing and beating. The only thing I'm wondering about is how can five armed men enter the place you live in and threaten your life? That, that really shocks me. And then. There's nothing that was really done that same day. It was they, I got there, people are in my house, like in the home, and they're threatening my life. It was very scary, I, I didn't know what to think. It was, it was traumatizing. On Friday, I was called by um, my client's son, that some people were in their premises in an attempt to evict them. Saturday morning, that is 14th, I flew to, to Mombasa. I went straight to Kikabala. And um, 
basically I found that the people who had attempted to evict my clients were denied access and even my client's son did not spend the night in the home. We consulted the police, the OCS and the CIO of Kijibo Police Station. They came with their file and we wanted to find out whether they have an order of eviction. When it was established that there was no such order and we gave the police the correct story, they were satisfied. And those, that guy calling himself Joseph, said that uh, they were ready to settle the matter if they are paid. But the, the issue here is that nobody has refused to pay anybody. The matter is not ready for payment. There are two cases pending before the court where my client has sued one Monica who alleges to be the owner of the premises. And until those cases are determined, actually we are the one who are owed money. We paid money and gave us the documents which were not complete. And when we paid the deposit, she moved out voluntarily. And um, as I've said, until this case number 351 of 2013 in Mombasa is hard and determined, we, 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 we cannot pay against the documents which are not genuine. Uh, secondly, our client has a right of claim over that property. She moved in uh, through a legal process. Nobody was evicted. They handed over voluntarily and we have hand over notes. So they should just wait for the case to be heard and determined and stop prosecuting matters through the press. And as far as the governor is concerned, I met him on Saturday at 11. And his only uh, role was to mediate. He had no uh, preference. He, he looked at the documents, all of us together. And we agreed that we, we, we will wait for case to be determined or further consultations. So for somebody to go back there yesterday and start saying that uh, there were some gunshots and blah, blah, there's nothing like that. There's even a report by my client's son at the Kijiba police station reporting that it attempted eviction, illegal eviction. And I can, I, I can tell you without fear of contradiction, the governor was not involved in that application. His work was to mediate and the fact that uh, he may be related to my client does not in any way um, uh, indict him in this process. Those are allegations. We went to the premises, the police were there. If, 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 they, are say, if they are saying somebody scaled the wall and uh, shot several times, where were the spent cartridges, guard marks? Are they telling us that uh, they, 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 they they dodged the, the, the gun, the, 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 the bullets several times. I was there personally, I did not see any, 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 any sign of uh, confrontation, I didn't. And actually, the cost of this litigation was supposed to be shared, and my client has shouted over the costs. That, that uh, Monica has not uh, paid a single cent towards this processing of titles. So we are here to take accounts. And, and to, make my, to make the point clear, if somebody has an order to evict Caroline from that premises, let him show it. We, 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 we will uh, look at it and uh, deal with it appropriately. But there is no order. Nobody can go to a premises and... If this was in 2013, surely. And if they say they were thrown out in 2013, we are in 2018. Where have they been for the last five years? When somebody says that uh, we are no longer interested in selling, you, you, you cannot unilaterally go back, you say I want to sell this land, and then at, uh, in the mean of the transaction you say I don't want to sell, yet you had given somebody back and possession. And I, I would urge people to use the court process to, to get the remedies they wish to have. And, and, and um, if there is anything they have to say and give us, and in, in the case of this, in uh, respect of this case, let them not go outside the 
the boundaries of the case and then you start bringing out names of big people.